Welcome back to another updated briefing on the Great Reset event. Today is Thursday, July 2nd, 2020. Mr. Rivalwick and the club that he is involved with gives the green light to arrest Ghislaine Maxwell. Yes, she was arrested today in New Hampshire. And Prince Andrew is being briefed as we speak in Europe by Mr. Rivalwick himself. You see, Ghislaine Maxwell, her father, Robert Maxwell, was in debt to the club. Money he could never pay back. That's why he was retired early. This honey trap reaches to every corner of the matrix. The names involved are just too many to mention in this short little video. We're talking about people like George Nader, the Clinton crime family, Trump, and the bankruptcy patsy situation going down as we speak. America, we are experiencing the Great Reset. It's all connected. You see, what many people may not know is that Ghislaine Maxwell had been coached on how to weather the storm before she was arrested. If she plays her cards right, the club will have a pardon arranged for her in 10 years. Like George Nader. George Nader, uh, his case is not so much a high-profile case like this one. He just got 10 years. His pardon will probably come even earlier than Mrs. Maxwell's. So what is this all about? What is going on here? What the hell is happening? That's what we're going to talk about today in this short little briefing. Keep it simple for now. It's mainly a two-fold thing you have to keep in your mind. Just think of two agendas. These are the two main agendas in this great reset that America is experiencing as we speak. Number one agenda. The government is looking to regain, I say regain, credibility which it lost so badly since 01. Agenda number two is just as important. You see, since 01, many of our finest people, a.k.a. workers, have been on the beach eating popcorn and watching the Titanic go down in this comedy that we call life. See, agenda number two is to get these people back in the matrix. Every single decision going forward in this great reset will have these two goals in mind. This is one of the reasons that Mr. Rivalwick has allowed me to tell the club story as it unfolds on the world stage. As I've said numerous times in the past, the balance of power in this world theater is changing at warp speed. The group that Mr. Rivalwick was born into, you basically do have to be born into it, there are some exceptions, it is so secret that it doesn't even have a name. We can call it the club if that makes anybody feel better. And sometimes they do call themselves the club. They don't exist. They are a ghost that travels the world. They don't even need a passport to do it. Every national leader is on their speed dial. If they walk into a casino, the 666 gang's owner, their heartbeat rises dramatically. This club, this group, is the only powerful entity which can destroy the 666 gangs. Examples are being made as we speak. Think about it. Anthony Weiner, Bill Cosby, Dre Jeffrey Epstein, Weinstein, Bill Clinton, the drug billionaire Barry Sherman, Claire Bronfman. You've got now Jelaine Maxwell. Examples have to be made during the Great Reset. So in the halls of marble, credibility must be reborn. Credibility must be gotten back. The very survival of the world depends on it. Did you notice just recently that China released a U.S. pilot who worked for FedEx? He was arrested last year in the southern city of Zhuangzhou. Releasing Todd Han was a goodwill gesture to Mr. Rivalwick, who will soon be in China. After his briefing with Prince Charles, and after the royal family has been dealt with, 
he will be off to Asia. If you are curious to how the meeting might go down, it will look a little like this. Mr. Rivalwick will meet the leader of China and graciously thank him for the release of Todd Hahn. They will each pat each other on the back, and then they will discuss their friendship while eating black bean lobster chow fun, a la no chocolate cake. You see, chocolate cake is on the shit list ever since Donald Trump insulted the Chinese leader at War Alago. Make no mistake about it, Trump was lectured about that dirty chocolate cake missile trick that he pulled. But it did not fully sink into his head because he is so arrogant. And here we are today, months away from his tender little feet being thrown out the door. Did I happen to mention that the balance of power on the world stage is changing during the Great Reset? Because it is worth noting. So that does it for our Jelaine Maxwell briefing for today. In our next briefing, we will be talking about a man named George Osawa. Mr. Rivalwick was just a teenager when his dad took him with him on a mission to Africa in 1955. It was like an overseer mission to watch George Osawa. It is an interesting story on how the club gathers intel for survival. We're talking about macrobiotics, bioengineered biotics. Is any of this ringing a bell? So in closing, I am not here to tell you that the club is a good, righteous club. Uh, they're not. This is all about power. This is about a club that realizes their mistake, that they gave the 666 gang too much power. This is about a reset, reining in some loose ends, making examples, trying to gain credibility back as the crown is handed to China. Yes, I never said this was going to be easy, but I can tell you this, that there is light at the end of the tunnel.